I wonder if all of you could come up a little closer here because uh, and let me say here to I'm hey that's much better isn't it now are all of you here for the uh, Steve Leal going away party <laughs> well actually this is a surprise Steve uh, we wanted to surprise you and we thought that we'd do that but then we, we decided that you know what well we're at it we're also going to do something great besides saying goodbye to you. We're going to say welcome to all of you and to an election effort to elect Richard Fevers to the Tucson City Council. Come on. I'm Dan Ekstrom and it's my pleasure to serve as your host this morning and also I'm going to be helping uh, st uh, Steve. Boy, that was his chairman last time. Uh, but helping Richard. And I was told that I had to introduce all the supporters of Richard Fembris that are in the audience. So what I'm going to do is, would all of you raise your hands? They're all supporters. All of you supporting Richard Fembris, raise your hands. Okay, that's great. Now we do have a bunch of special guests though, and I'd like to introduce them. Uh, First, I'm going to start off with our esteemed sheriff of Pima County, Clarence Dubnik. From the Pima County Board of Supervisors, the Vice Chair, Ramon Valadez. Where are you, Ramon? Of course, from the Tucson City Council, Steve Leal. From the Sunnyside School Board, we have Eva Carrillo Dong. From the City Council in South Tucson, we have Paul Diaz. And we have a bunch of folks that used to be in office and are now out of office, but they're coming back to help Richard get elected to the City Council. And I see in the audience we have Mayor George Miller. Where are you, Mayor? Right there. Senator Victor Soltero. Representative Tom Prozelski. Yeah. Now this guy, a lot of you are going to have to go back a few years. Uh, yeah. Those of you that are Marines know him. Oh, no. No, City Councilman Rudy Castro. Yeah. Now here's one that uh, he not only distinguished himself being an elected official, but later on working for the governor, Senator George Cunningham. Now, other candidates, I see, uh, where's Ted Prozelski? He's running for the state legislature, right over here, taking pictures. We also have a bunch of other folks, and I just want to introduce a few of them, just so you get a flavor of the kind of people that are here today supporting Richard. I see from some of our neighborhood groups, uh, Pat Martin. <laughs> Willie Blake. Angie Quiroz over here. And I may have missed a few, but then I also see Andy Herreras is representing the Knights of Columbus. We have uh, Rigoberto Lopez is on the Small Business Commission representing the business community. Who are you, Rigo? There he is, trying to sell food. I see a good friend back there, Ernesto Portillo. Ernesto, how are you? also have you with us. Uh, now, these people represent these groups, so that does not necessarily say that that's the group that they're representing what they're doing, but yet uh, I see uh, Sofia Ramos from HPAC. Uh, Augie Romero, where are you, Augie? There he is, from TUSD Educator. Bob Crumley, who is with the Pima County Correctional Officers Association. Where are you, Bob? There he is. Uh, I also see in our crowd from LULAC, Ana Estrada, who is the state director. I also see Javier Herrera, who is the district three director of LULAC. Now, if I missed anybody, 
please let us know because I want to introduce everybody that's important and we have I think when everybody raised their hands that's what got me through it so I don't have to worry because I'm not running for office so I'm not gonna lose any votes but that's where we're at you know when Richard asked me to introduce him I said send me a bio he sent me a two-page bio <laughs> and I want all of you to get a chance to look at it because I'm not going to read it. <laughs> you know, when you stop to think about what it takes to give of your career, and he, and he has done that, to serve this community, he's just the kind of person that we need to represent Ward 5 on right. the City Council. He will certainly continue a lot of the great things that Steve Layell started. There's some work that we still have to continue, and I know that he's going to do that. But the thing about him when you talk about him, uh, beside the fact that he's uh, a graduate of Tucson High School, and that's pretty tough for me because I, I, along with my other PhDs, you know, Pueblo High Diploma graduates, you know, it's kind of tough. But we set those differences aside right now. <laughs> now, also, if you look at his logo over there, can anybody make anything out of that? Dallas. Dallas. Dallas, yeah. Well, you know, that's, that's pretty tough on some of us. But, you know, only because it's Richard will we accept it. But all of you know that he is a lifelong resident of Ward 5 in the city of Tucson. He went to St. Ambrose School, Tucson High School, University of Arizona, got his master's degree at Northern Arizona University, uh, worked for many years for the sheriff, so if you really want to know where he's, where he's cut his teeth, you can look at the sheriff because he's worked for him for so many years, very distinguished career. His career working for the governor as the director of Arizona Office of Highway Safety, uh, he's done a marvelous job. In fact, Arizona has led the nation in seatbelt usage. At one time, we were way back somewhere. There's also been a decrease in fatalities on our highways by more than 18% this last year. Uh, he's, he's won all kinds of awards possible. He's been the man of the year by the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, he's been man of the year by so many other different groups. He's raised a tremendous family, and I know he'll probably introduce his family, but every one of his family has, has done things in our community. He is someone who I can tell you, because of his work on behalf of the disadvantaged, his work as a national vice president for LULAC, both for the far west region, and now uh, he's got a job that's of real interest to me and Senator uh, Soltero. He's the VP for the elderly. So, you know, he's doing something for us, Senator, so we're going to be really making sure that he takes care of us as we grow older. Thank you, Richard. But there are so many great things. Uh, he was honored by the President of Mexico for his work in building relationships between our countries. Uh, he's a veteran. Vietnam era veteran, served a distinguished service to our military. There are probably not many things that I can't say about him. He is the true thing, and he is the kind of person that we need. And, and I think that's the reason why you see so many different people here today. And there are some people that wanted to be here who I know called and said they couldn't be here. But you know, we have a unique opportunity to bring together our entire community because once he gets nominated in September, we then have to work hard to make sure to get him elected in November. So it's my distinct pleasure and my honor to introduce to you the next council member from Ward 5, Richard Feminist. Yeah.